Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Red Pill Garage. On today's episode, I'm going to show you two different ways you can safely jumpstart your car. It's important to remember, when working in the vicinity of car batteries, they can be dangerous. Batteries release explosive gases during normal operation. And this gas is called hydrogen. It burns with incredible speed. And if you smell a rotten egg smell, that's hydrogen sulfide and that's highly toxic. So let me show you guys on how to do this safely. So for whatever reason, you got a dead battery. Now it's time to untangle your jumper cables. And the car you see on the left is the one with the dead battery. The first thing you want to do is remove the keys out of both cars. This is to prevent any damage to the car's electronics and to reduce the risk of explosion at the battery. Okay, the first step is the car with the dead battery is to identify the positive which is red. And then your black is your battery earth. And on the donor car, your positive which is marked in red there. And then your negative earth or ground. Okay, next you want to get your red jumper lead and connect that to the battery positive which is marked red on the dead battery. Next step, make sure the red and black jumper leads don't touch together. And then you need to connect the red lead to the battery positive of the donor car. On this particular battery, it doesn't give you enough room to connect straight onto the terminal, but just behind it's good enough. As you can see there. And next you want to connect your negative earth with the black jumper cable. And you can see that's got a much better bite to it. There's more room there compared to the other side. Next, on the car with the flat battery, you want to get your black jumper cable and connect it to a thick piece of metal on the engine like that and not to the battery negative. You don't want to do that. Just straight on that metal hook is good enough. And the reason being for that, you want to reduce the risk of explosion. A dead battery will produce those dangerous gases. Okay, next you want to start up the donor car. And then you want to hold the revs up to approximately 2000 RPM so it can start to recharge that flat battery in the other car. And you want to do that for about 5 minutes. Okay, now it's time to start up the car with the flat battery. Once the vehicle's engine has started, Remove the jumper cables in the exact reverse order in which they were connected. So that means remove the black jumper cable off the car with the flat battery. And then the black jumper cable off the donor car. And now the positive red off the donor car. And make sure the cables don't touch together. And finally the red jumper cable off the battery positive. And next the battery positive terminal cover. And this is to prevent any short circuiting or arcing against the car body if anything was to come into contact with a positive terminal. The second way to jump start your car is by using one of these modern day jump starters. These things are absolutely great. They come with a 4 cell 6 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery that delivers instant starting power. They are a safer alternative compared to using standard jumper cables. It also prevents accidental spark at the battery terminals and allows safe jump starting on vehicles with fancy computer systems. You really can't go wrong using one of these things, they're idiot proof. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove the keys out of the car. Then connect the red positive clamp to the positive terminal of the battery. Then connect the black negative clamp to the negative terminal of the battery or a non-moving part like the engine hook we used earlier. Whatever you do, don't connect to a fuel line. And then you can go ahead and start the car. Once the engine has started, 
It's just a matter of disconnecting the black clamp first and then the red clamp and then you're done. If you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next episode of Red Pill Garage.